So Ben, uh, coming back to Chicago, it's been several years now, but uh, do you still get any special feelings playing yeah, in the United Center? It's always, uh, it's always fun to come back here, and um, even just to go through shoot around and you know, just walk around the city. Got a lot of good memories here, still got a lot of family here. So um, it's just a good place, nice city. When, when you see uh, the success the Bulls have had the past couple of years under Coach Thibodeau, uh, what, what do you see from the outside looking in as far as what impact he's had as a coach on that unit? With, even with Derrick Rose out, uh, they've done so well. I mean, he's, a, he's probably, you know, best coach in the league. You know, um, you look at what they've been able to do without their MVP player. Um, and Derek and just the consistency that the ball club has seems like they don't really miss a mm -hmm. miss a step. You know, it's just like he kind of has like cookie cutter guys, and they just come in and, mm -hmm. and perform their roles to a T, and they get W's. And um, mm -hmm. just impressed with the way that you know they, they approach the game, especially on the defensive end, rebounding end, and just the overall consistency and how hard he gets them to play mm -hmm. night in and night out, regardless of if someone is hurt or whatever the case may be. So. Um, and then on top of that, they have you know very talented players, so that doesn't hurt either. Mm -hmm. you know? So they, they just um, they got a nice mix from top to bottom. You know? So it's a good, great team. Describe the, the impact a coach can have at the NBA level. Obviously, every team's got several talented players on it, but how much of a difference can a coach like that make as far as uh, get, you know getting a mindset, a defensive mindset, or whatever is needed? Um, I think it's everything. You know, I think. Um, you know, obviously in the NBA you need talent to win, but um, I've seen teams that aren't as talented, you know, but you know, um, they're coached a certain way or they have a certain approach to the game um, that, you know, they're able to still make do. You mm -hmm. know? So um, coaching, you know, on every level is always very important, you know, as far as the system and, you know, just trying to get as much as you can out of your players, mm -hmm. whether they be, you know, top-notch players or players at a lower tier, you mm -hmm. know, um, and, that's something that I think Coach Thibodeau is, is really good at, being able to get as much out of his players as possible. When you were here in Chicago, uh, a lot of people felt that as a unit, you guys could have done more. Do you, yeah. do you feel like feel that way too? Yeah, I felt, I felt so. I felt, um, you know, I felt we were on the way. You know, mm -hmm. I felt like uh, we had that young team, um, like guys like Kirk, Luol, Chris Duhon. We were, we, were, we were a young team, you know, and I felt like uh, we were on our way. You know, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, just how the NBA is, you know, teams get broken up and, mm -hmm. you know, um, a couple players get shifted, but, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're still playing really well. Mm -hmm. And um, they're playing some of their best basketball, obviously, in years. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, uh, good to see some of my, my old teammates having that success right now. And Ben, uh, or uh, Luol has really developed as a player. Mm -hmm. What have you seen in this part of his game that's, that's really matured? I think just his consistency. You mm -hmm. know, I look at Luol and, you know, um, Everything he's doing, none, none of it really surprises me. He's just you know, that same consistent guy that he was when I was there. He's gonna knock down that mid-range shot, night in and night out. You know, he's obviously um, added more consistency on his three-point shot, and he's just one of those guys that never gets tired. You know, um, he's always gonna wear his opponent down, and I think he's you know right at the top of the league in, in minutes played, and that, you know that's just a tribute to to him. You know, so. Um, Nothing really surprised me with Lou. You know, he's getting everything he deserves right now. Kirk Heinrich said uh, a couple of days ago he'd be open to coming back to Chicago mm -hmm. one day. How do you feel about uh, about that in your career? Um, I mean, like I said, it's a, it a great place to play. You know, mm -hmm. um, obviously I had um, some of my best years here. Mm -hmm. um, still have family here, so you know, the business side is the business side. But you know, I never had anything against the city, so um, you know, that's a card away from now. But you know. Right now, I'm just focused on trying to get my team, you know, back in the playoffs. So, you know, we got a long way to go. Okay, good to see you, man.